The problem as we follow the whole story is that we found increasingly a number of people lied with a straight face. Earlier today, I spoke to Sports Minister Ajay Markham. Mr. Markan, obviously coaches, for one, coaches and the authorities are involved in this whole scam. Absolutely. Uh, like uh, uh, in, the, in the past also, we were always blaming and penalizing the athletes. But uh, coaches and the officials, they were always uh, let scot free. I think that the coaches and officials, they are the most to be blamed because these girls or boys, they come from the rural areas and they are semi-literate or illiterate girls and boys just 15, 16 years old. And as soon as they land up in these camps, they are in the hands of these coaches and officials. So going by our Guru Shishya Parampara, traditional Parampara in our country, whatever the coaches will ask them, they'll do. No, no, uh, if why? the coaches ask them to eat something, they'll eat. So why should we not take action first on coaches and officials? So that is what I have decided. I have asked them, straight away we should remove these foreign coaches and action should be taken against officials who are responsible, who are, who are with them. No, wh why has all this started coming out now? These coaches are under various associations. Athletics associations, other associations, for example, which Kalmadi and his cronies and his people have been running for maybe you know, almost uh, two decades. Well, yes, uh, these uh, federations uh, decide and uh, suggest to us which foreign coaches should we have. So we just go by, go by these, uh, these federations' suggestions. Secondly, we have taken action now because dope tests uh, have tested positive just now. So we couldn't have taken action against them earlier. Now since they have tested positive, earlier, earlier on everyone was basking, basking in the glory of gold medals of Commonwealth Games and Asian Games. So, But now this is since tainted with uh, positive dope, dope tests. I think no one is happy with this, what, as, uh, uh, what, what is happening. No, but the question uh, is this, the in International Olympic Association has in the past supported Suresh Kalmadi and his people. But all of this has grown in their time. The International Olympic Association is lecturing to the government of India that give Kalmadi and people like Kalmadi independence. But they don't seem to be looking at whether there's been an institutional problem leading up to this which has all happened under Kalmadi's time. Well, yes, International Olympic Association and the Athletic Sport Federation and this Athletic Sport Federation particularly was under Lalit Bhanot and uh, Mr. Suresh Kalmadi. They, they, were the, they were the people who were running, running the, uh, the, uh, this Athletic uh, uh, Federation. So I have also asked uh, out of these six point directions which I have given to the Secretary, one of these directions is also to seek a report from the Athletic Federation as to why this was happening. So we are, uh, all these people they have, they have blame to share including the Athletic Federation who suggested to us the officials or the training coaches uh, who should be uh, deployed and to whom we are no, paying. So the government is paying uh, the salaries to these coaches which were suggested to us by the Athletic Federation. So no, they also have a blame to share. No, so what, what the acting chief uh, Vijay Kumar Marotra says uh, doesn't make any sense. What you are saying is that Lalit Banot and Suresh Kalmadi must also answer in the way whether or not they are in Tihar jail. Yes, Mr. Kalmadi and Mr. Bhanot, both of them uh, are answerable because uh, Mr. Kalmadi and Mr. Bhanot, they both, as I said, were associated with Athletic Federation. So both of them, they, 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 have, they have to answer this. Ajay Makan, thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed.